Hey everybody, Kyle here from Smoking Beaver, taking a look at our plant deep into flowering. You can see that the uh, nutrient deficiencies that occur when the plants enter into flowering, um, sometimes, it's not always going to happen to you, but you can see the tips are a little burnt. That's uh, from the nitrogen deficiencies. And it is normal to see some of that when the plant enters into flowering. It's siphoning a lot of its energy into creating these big, beautiful buds you see before you. Look at that. Um, so it is normal to see the leaves sort of suffer a bit. And as you guys are aware, this plant has had a rough go. So the leaves were already in a bit of a crappy state. So that would explain why the plant looks so droopy. But I am very happy with how the buds are developing. And I think you'll agree. We've got some beautiful colas. Look how thick even that secondary one there is coming just right off the very bottom of the plant here. And you can see why LST is just it's a great option to really improve your yield even on a plant like this that had a really difficult time we have managed to get quite a bit of flower development on it and it's looking pretty good if you ask me looks like we're in about our sixth maybe going into the seventh week of flowering so yeah that would uh, that would put us right on for about a week and a bit before harvest but i'm now really going to just be relying on the color and development of the trichomes, which we've talked about in previous episodes, but I will give you guys a look at these new ones here. Uh, for those of you who don't know though, the goal usually is to harvest when the plant has like 30% amber trichomes. They, they start out just with clear heads, and then as the THC starts to sort of uh, develop within them, I guess, uh, the heads will go like a milkier white, and then as they continue to gain potency, the heads will start to turn amber. If they're all amber, like you have a lot of like yellowy looking golden trichomes, the effect of the weed can be much more couch locky and um, sort of like sedating, I guess. Like you'll, you'll really feel the effects. It will probably be very overpowering. I prefer to have my weed sort of balanced I like um, sort of the heady effects of the more white trichomes mixed in with the amber. So I will be waiting until there's about that 30% balance. I've got my jeweler's loop here. If you guys are interested in grabbing one of these, the link is down below with those many Amazon products I provide there. This is an awesome tool for taking a look at the trichomes, very easy. With the eye, with the camera it's a little hard, but I am going to try to get a good view of them. It comes with this larger lens here just for like general taking a peek, see if we can get it zoomed in. So you can, you can see the clusters of trichomes, but if you're really trying to actually get the overall color and really see the detail, this small one is, is great. You can get right up close to the heads and you can see the colors. Um, I'm going to try to set up the camera so that you guys can get a look at that. If not, I'll just take some still images and we will take a look like that. All right. Now this looks like a pretty good view here. It's very hard to stay in focus. You can see all of those orbs down there. Those are the heads of the trichomes. And they are starting to look sort of a milky white, but there's actually quite a bit of clear heads that I'm seeing here as well. So the plant may need to uh, still develop its flowers for a bit longer. It might be more like a week and a half, maybe even two weeks before we harvest but you just keep a close eye on the development of them and uh, and you'll get a pretty good idea. Once they all start to go yellow, you'll, you'll be able to keep a good eye on them with something like this and there won't be any sort of guessing. Let's see if we can take a look at some of the other buds. That's another important thing. You wanna not just be looking at the tops of the flowers or at the bottoms, you wanna kind of look all over and get a general idea of the, of the total trichome development. The reason we do that is if you look at only one spot that's maybe a bit older and has been developing for a while, it could look yellow and ready to harvest while the rest of the plant is looking um, underdeveloped or vice versa. You might look at a spot and it looks kind of underdeveloped and like it's not ready to harvest, but the rest of the plant might be well on its way and uh, you risk maybe jeopardizing your potency depending on what your preferences are. That's just on a sugar leaf there. You can kind of see the white heads sort of starting to get a milky, clear, milky white there. The pistols. Lots of trichome development there at the tips of the flowers. There's some as well. 
so we can get some pretty great views with this. So it looks like overall it's sort of entering into milky white, slightly clear. So we will take another look in a week and see how it looks then. In terms of humidity, you can see it's at 26%. It is winter here in Canada and I've had the window open to try to help with uh, humidity levels. So it is a little low right now, um, but that's okay. In flowering, I do want the humidity to be lower rather than high. I would aim for around 30 to no higher than 50% humidity when it's in flowering. So again, mine is a little low, but I do have a mini humidifier I can use to increase that. So I'm not too worried about it at this particular time. You can see the plant has also been watered recently. Um, the last feeding that it's had in terms of nutrients has been this Power Bloom by Gaia Green. You can see the uh, phosphorus, potassium is quite a bit higher and then a lower nitrogen level. There are plenty of different fertilizers you can try. I will uh, I'll give a couple other ones a try in different grows, but that just helps with flower development too. Now adding too heavy of a feeding too late into the flowering can cause kind of a harsher flavor when all the nutrients and things get locked up in the flowers. So different growers will try different methods, but you can flush the plant with total just pure water uh, nearing the end of the grow to help preserve that flavor if you so wish. There are many different approaches to harvesting cannabis. Anyway guys, I think that's about it for today's video. I really just wanted to show you the cool trichome development on the tips, especially with this jeweler's loop. I'm glad we were able to get a proper look at it. Again, if you want any of these tools that we use here on the channel, links are down below in the description. If you do choose to buy any of that stuff, a portion of the proceeds will go to me at no extra cost to you. So it is a way to support the channel and get yourself some cool gear too. Anyway, thanks again to everybody for clicking and watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like, leave a comment of what you did or maybe didn't like, or any tips that you have. I do love interacting with all the viewers and hearing how your grows are going. And if you like this sort of content and want to see more, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It supports the channel, shows me that uh, smoking beaver is something to keep putting effort into, and it's free for you guys. Thanks again everyone for watching and I hope you're having a great week. I will see you guys in the next video and hopefully we can get some harvesting done. See you then.